just a really complicated, ugly journey. And what was such an amazing thing to witness was this transformation from this um, cute but bratty little kid to this, she, she literally transformed and she became this incredibly mature individual. And we heard that from all different care providers that at that point for five years old, she was so connected to her treatment and what she wanted, what she didn't want. She was very clear in who she trusted and who she didn't trust. And we saw this fiery spirit of hers shift from fighting us on rules and behavior to um, quite literally fighting for her life. She refused. She Even at five years old, she didn't want to work with physical therapists. She didn't trust them. So she trusted me. And so I would work with the physical therapist on her different procedures, learn what they wanted to do. They would supervise, <clears throat> but she would work only with me. And so I, I learned quickly, learned that with faith, once you establish trust, and if you respected her, even at a very young age, she would do anything in the world for you. Um, she could have major back surgery and I could have her up walking the very next day. Um, and she would do it and she would cry and she would push, but that strength went from fighting rules to truly fighting for her life. And then that continued to transcend for the next you know, 13 or so years as she continued to be plagued with many, many major medical challenges as a result of her treatment. Uh, the cancer, we killed the cancer, but the treatments between the chemo, the radiation and 23 major surgeries end up killing her body. And yet this beauty that we saw transition and transform as, a, as basically kind of an infant, it just carried on and continued to, to occur that through these surgeries, through these procedures, and through all the setbacks she had physically, you know, it hit her so hard emotionally, and yet her bravery and her strength just was compounded. Her maturity and understanding her life situation and how she interacted with providers would, would just continue to grow. And her kindness and compassion she'd be sitting there in major pain and yet would actually grab the hand of a provider, a nurse, a doctor who was clearly upset. And she would, in, in Faith's moment of pain, would actually grab them and say, are you okay? I'm sorry, I'm upsetting you. And that was Faith. She, uh, she was a special soul. There's, um, there's just, there's no other way around it. I heard it too many times from too many different people that had very brief interactions that she was just a very special, uniquely gifted individual at being able to um, feel empathy for others in her darkest moments. Her mom and I, well, her family, the whole family, sorry, um, would see her she had many physical challenges and yet she was still trying to live a normal life. And it was amazing to see our torrential downpour of rains in Oregon. She would get out of her car when she was started when she was driving and her back hurt, her legs hurt, her hip hurt. She was always out of balance because she had different strengths in her legs. And here it is pouring down rain and there's Faith walking across the parking lot and she's picking up worms and and removing them from drowning in the water to put them in the dirt so they can continue to live. Um, it's just, she was always putting other people first, regardless of her, her challenges. That's faith. <laughs>